good morning. You're listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV. I'm Joshua Killian, social media producer for the Anne Arundel County Department of Aging Disabilities. And today, my guest is Jim Kremple, Community Outreach Coordinator for the Anne Arundel County Office of Emergency Management. Welcome to Senior Scene, Jim. Thank you, Josh. The uh, Atlantic hurricane season is right around the corner, so it's a good time for our residents to start preparing for tropical storms and hurricanes. What advice do you have for our listeners? You're right, the Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1 to November 30th, and early predictions look like this may be another above average tropical storm season. This is the best time to prepare now before the disaster strikes. Can you tell us the difference between a tropical storm and a hurricane, and how do they form? Well, the difference is really the wind speed and intensity of the storm. Both tropical systems begin as a tropical wave, and then as the wind increases, it becomes an organized low pressure tropical depression. If the conditions are favorable, the depression can become a tropical storm when wind speeds reach 39 miles an hour, and eventually a hurricane when they reach 75 miles an hour or higher. Some tropical storms never strengthen, or they move harmlessly out to sea where the cooler water weakens them. And what are some of the hazards that tropical storms and hurricanes can present? Well, hurricanes and tropical storms can cause high winds, dangerous storm surges, flooding, and tornadoes. Winds from a hurricane can cause massive damage to buildings, roofs, and trees. Storm surges can cause major flooding along coastal areas, affecting residents in coastal communities and low-lying areas nearby. Inland flooding from torrential rain is one of the most common hazards we see in the county. It can cause severe damage to property and can make roads impassable. And tornadoes can cause severe localized damage far away from the eye of a tropical storm or hurricane. All of these hazards together can produce what we call cascading effects. That is winds toppling trees, blocking roads, taking down power lines, causing power outages, and then delaying first responders. Thank you, Jim. That's some really helpful advice. Um, how will our residents know when a tropical storm or hurricane is headed our way? Well, a tropical storm or hurricane watch is issued 48 hours in advance when tropical storm winds uh, are possible in a given area. That gives you time to prepare. When a watch is issued, you should review your emergency plans, locate your emergency kit, secure loose items from around your lawn or deck, and test your generator if you have one. Warnings are issued 36 hours in advance when tropical storm force winds are expected in a warned area. That's when you should take immediate action. Shelter in place with your emergency kit and check local weather forecast regularly. If local officials tell you if you need to be evacuated, then be prepared to evacuate yourself and your family to include your pets. That's great. And now that we know what the hazards and the alerts are, can you tell listeners how else they can prepare for hurricane season? Well, first you should make a plan. You already know the hazards and now you need to make sure you and your family can respond to them. Think about your family's specific needs such as mobility aids or medication and items for your children and pets when planning and sheltering place or evacuating. If you visit Know Your Zone Maryland, you can see if you're in a potential evacuation zone and consider voluntary evacuation well before the storm, especially if you have a chronic illness or disability, especially if you live alone, you live in a low-lying or flood-prone area, or you live in a mobile or prefabricated home. Those structures cannot withstand hurricane force winds. You should also plan now to stay connected with your family members and friends by creating a communications plan to contact your family member or a friend outside the storm area. Let them know you're okay and if you intend to evacuate and to where. And can you tell us other ways that residents can prepare before a storm? Sure. Building a well-stocked emergency kit can help you easily shelter in place or evacuate with everything you and your family might need. Be sure to include one gallon of water per person per day, at least a three-day supply of non-perishable food for each person, and don't forget your pets, baby formula and diapers if applicable, flashlights with extra batteries, battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries, a first aid kit and prescription medicines, two face masks per person and latex gloves, and personal hygiene items such as soap, hand sanitizer, and disinfectant wipes. Be sure to have spare medical items such as glasses, hearing aids with extra batteries, walkers, or oxygen, and have a cell phone with the charger, and bring local maps for evacuation if the smartphone goes out. Don't forget to secure important papers such as passports, insurance information, medical information, deeds, wills, and cherished photos in a waterproof container or Ziploc bag. 
You can also build your emergency supplies over time or even split the cost of supplies shared with a family member or friend. Work towards getting a fully stocked kit over time. And how should our residents stay informed about weather conditions? Well, monitoring the weather on TV or the radio during hurricane season is a great way to stay informed. We also urge our residents to sign up for our free alert and Arundel mass notification system that can send emergency warnings and information directly to your cell phone or email. To subscribe, just visit our website at www.aacounty.org slant OEM for Office of Emergency Management. And what would you like our listeners to remember from our discussion today? Well, prepare now for any emergencies by making a plan, building an emergency kit, staying informed and getting involved. If your community group, business or house of worship is interested in a hurricane preparedness presentation, please contact the Office of Emergency Management at 410-222-0600 or visit online at www.aacounty.org slant OEM. Jim, I wanna thank you so much for coming on the show today and informing all of our listeners about being prepared for tropical cyclones. It's my pleasure, Josh. If you have any questions about today's show or if you're interested in any of our programs, please feel free to contact the Department of Aging and Disabilities at 410-222-4257 or visit us online. We also encourage everyone to register for our Senior Activity Center program, which can be found on our website, aacounty.org forward slash senior hyphen center. Please remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Arundel Seniors. You can catch Senior Scene first only on 1430 WNAV. Remember to tune in to full episodes on our YouTube channel at Arundel Seniors on Thursdays at 10 a.m. This has been Joshua Killian, social media producer with the Inner Arundel County Department of Aging and Disabilities. You've listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV.